Well, you know, do you know that cybercrime is becoming a growing problem in Fiji? Cybercrime is defined as a crime in which a computer is the object of the crime, such as hacking and spam. Cybercrime is also cyberbullying and using fake profiles to cause panic and spread false news. If you're involved in this or know anyone who's committing these crimes, report them immediately. I'm Polly. And I'm Peter. We host the Traffic Jam Show on City FM. From 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. every weekday. Do, do the, the right, right thing. This bulletin, Kia villages tell of TCR Sahara. $20 million damage bill for roads. And police increase visibility. From the studios of FBC Suva, Atera Lendua. Exactly a week after severe tropical cyclone Yasa tore through Fiji, harrowing tales of survival continue to emerge. Mother of three, Silivanditale, recalls how at the height of the cyclone, she had to hide her three-year-old son in a suitcase to save his life. As strong winds tore through Yarrow village, Ditale and her family fled to a neighbor's house with 18 other people. One of them was a two-month-old, and one was six-month-old. So they were put under the bed with an aunt of mine who has an amputated foot. They were priorities to us, so they were put there. And there was a table, a sitting room. We were with our staff nurse in the room, so she told me to get a table from the sitting room for the rest of the kids to be put under. So there was the table with my son had nowhere to be put, so I just opened a nearby suitcase and put him inside. A government delegation led by Attorney General Ayaz Said Kayum visited Kia and distributed initial aid packages yesterday. The damage bill from tropical cyclone Yasa that ravaged Fiji Roads Authority's infrastructure stands at around $20 million. Speaking to FBC News, FRA Acting Chief Executive Kamal Prasad says this estimate is based on initial damage assessments by officers on the ground. Prasad says around 180 locations sustained damage, with roads in Lambasa being the hardest hit. He adds the FIA has managed to open all main supply roads. We send our team, not just for assessment. We send uh, our FRE guys together with um, the, our contractors uh, and they do the assessment and the uh, restoration work straight away. The Australian government will provide $4.5 million in humanitarian relief to assist Fijians who suffered from tropical cyclone Yasa. Minister for Foreign Affairs Maurice Payne says HMAS Adelaide will be deployed to provide immediate assistance. Payne, who will be in Fiji next week, says the Pacific has endured a lot with intensifying cyclones. Members of the Australian Army's 6th Engineering Support Regiment will help clear debris and repair critical infrastructure. The relief package includes building materials, tents, medical supplies, solar lighting, hygiene kits and educational supplies. The business community is liaising with emergency respondents to see how they can assist following TCASA. Chief Executive of Fiji Commerce and Employers Federation, Kamil Limbatiweti, says members have shown interest in helping affected communities. Batiweti says they are coordinating with the National Disaster Management Office and the Fiji Red Cross Society. He says members have been told to plan long-term support. Donate in kind, meaning food, water. Also, if you want to donate financially, most welcome. So some of them have called us to ask Fiji Red Cross what is the uh, bank account number they can deposit online. We also have asked our members who have uh, warehouses in the uh, north, because uh, what is difficult is taking all this food across to the uh, different areas. The Fiji Red Cross has been on the ground with volunteers reaching out to support those affected by TCASA. Director General Elisa Pedi Rokutunindao says a lot of donations are coming in to assist victims. She says their focus is providing food and clean drinking water. 
being able to assist the 613 households right now uh, in uh, um, all over the Western, Northern and Eastern Division uh, and also about 107 communities uh, and that's a total of 1,000, just nearly 2,000 uh, um, things that we've distributed for Cyclone Yasa. The China Chamber of Commerce today donated $20,000 to the Fiji Red Cross to help with the victims of the cyclone. Two brothers from Lombasa are doing their best to sell their last batch of pineapples and watermelons at the Bailey Bridge in Nambua, Suva. 18-year-old Mitesh Singh left school earlier in the year to help his father, and just when sales should have picked up, Tisiasa ravaged their farm back home. Singh told FBC News his father was to send more fruit, but that's unlikely as their farms have been destroyed. He said their sales were already down since COVID-19 and the cyclone has made things worse. The Singh brothers say money earned will be used to repair their house and manage their farm. Our uh, house damage already and our farm, uh, our business too. Like our people have no foods and can't sell. And this much less foods after, the three, after three months. Can. Police have increased their visibility in shopping areas around Fiji, saying opportunist crimes will be rife over the next few days. Chief Operations Officer ACP Abdul Khan says criminal elements will try to take advantage of people and there is a need to secure personal property. ACP Khan says Fijians need to be cautious and vigilant at all times. He has also reminded drivers to be careful as roads will be busy during this festive season. Drug use has been a barrier for a number of Fijians who had the potential to work in Australia under the Pacific Labour Scheme. Employment Minister Pavin Kumar says this was one of their findings after conducting thorough health screenings for over 1,000 applicants in the past seven months. Kumar reminded the second batch of meat workers who will depart Fiji on the 6th of next month to refrain from consuming alcohol or drugs as it, will, it may hinder future opportunities for Fijian workers. Overall attitude, discipline. All Fijian workers must maintain discipline, good work ethics including performance. All of you must maintain good behavior in work and outside of work and all times. You must all demonstrate 100% attendance at your work. Up ahead, another chance for Olympic qualification for swimmers and local player after World Cup spot. Swimmers will have one last chance to qualify for the 2021 Tokyo Olympic Games. Eight swimmers are vying for a spot in the Olympics with the hope of qualifying through merit. The recently concluded Long Course Open Championship was a qualifying event, but none of the swimmers met the required times. Fiji Swimming President Ben Rova says there is still hope. Fiji Swimming has applied to uh, FINA to have our Open Nationals in 2021. That's a week after the Easter uh, long weekend. And we have applied so that that uh, Open Championship is also a FINA qualifying event, uh, sorry, an Olympic qualifying event. Despite setbacks over the last two weeks, the Boxing Commission of Fiji is looking forward to more promotions next year. One particular promoter is already planning this 
Well, his next event in three months. His boxing event two weeks ago was heavily criticized for the absence of the heavyweight belt, but promote, promoter Freddie Chand is not stepping back. Chand is planning his next promotion for March next year. Country stop boxes mean like Abe, Chan, Cheser Ramundi. Maybe we can see, maybe we can see Elifreti Koyara. Maybe we can see Joseph Quadro. We can see Abe, Chan, James Singh. Maybe some former boxers like Upeti Tangi return to the ring. So these are, uh, that's, that's our plans. A generally fine afternoon is expected across Fiji with a chance of scattered showers in the north and east and much the same is expected tomorrow on Christmas Day. That's FBC News Now. Join us at 7pm for our major bulletin. For news you can trust, get the facts from FBC's TV, radio and digital news at fbcnews.com.fj, keeping Fijians connected with the truth. Have a very Merry Christmas. Thank you. हमारे खूबसूरत देश बीजी में चाइल्ड अब्यूज की घटनाएं आए दिन बढ़ रही हैं। क्यों बच्चों का मासूम बचपन अब्यूज का शिकार हो जाता है अपने बच्चों की सुरक्षा का खास ख्याल रखें। उनसे बातचीत करें उनके दोस्तों के बारे में जानें। आज के बच्चे देश का भविष्य है मैं दीप्ति और मैं मोनिश आपके हम सफर शामिल हो जाए हमारे साथ मंडे टू फ्राइडे फाइव फोर्टी फाइव टेन एम तक रेडियो फीजी टू देश की धड़कन आरोप